Hi there, we're going to look at using XPages as an integration platform. What we're going to look at right now is using XPages to integrate between different Nodes databases, and in fact different elements within one Nodes database. What you see here is the Lead Manager example for XPages as published on OpenNTF. It lets you look through and browse a number of leads, uh, and when you pick a lead, it gives you additional details on that lead. As you can see in the upper part of the screen here, we have all the different information about that sales lead itself. But in the lower part of the screen here, under related information, we have additional information. We have information about the company that it belongs to that lead. We then have a view into a different database showing the contracts relating to this lead, uh, our state of negotiation, and we have a view into the discussion database where we have various discussions about this lead. So we see some instances here where we're pulling information from a completely different database, or in the case of company, we have a summary version of a different form related to the form that we had here for sales leads. Well, let's look a little bit at how we did this. Here we are in Designer looking at the lead details custom control in the Lead Manager application. You can see here the part corresponding to the top of the screen where we have all the fields from the form that we wish to display. We have defined on the page the data source corresponding to that form, and we've tied it to the form in that database, and we've used those fields to populate the part of this page that deals with the lead. Then we have these other panels at the bottom that are tied to different things. The key here is using different data sources for each thing we want to show. In the first tab here, you can see that we have the custom control representing a summary of the company information. Uh, and what we do here is we pass into that control through a property a value, company. In this case, we're passing to it the contractor name field from the lead we are looking at here. Now what does that custom control do with this value? Well, let's have a look. Here's the custom control a company summary that displays the details of the company. You can see here that we've defined a data source in that custom control and it actually has, you know, it's saying it's coming from a form, it's a company form from the appropriate database, but the document ID is computed. When we look at how we computed that value, we take in the parameter that was passed in the name of the company. We call a library to team to get the doc ID from the company name. It does the overall rate lookup and comes back and returns that as a document ID. Within the context of this custom control, we can use that data source and populate this control with the appropriate fields from that form and display what we want to display for that. Back to the lead details. Uh, we can see on another tab, the contracts and discussions both use, again, they load a custom control uh, containing a view, and once more, they, they pass in properties. Uh, in this case, they give a company name and a lead name. Now, let's look at those controls to see how they pick it up. Again, once more, we have a view here, and this time it's actually on the view itself that we define the data source. And before we pointed at a view in the database, but that, that's just a static view because it's always going to be the same view. What we do differently is if we look under all properties and expand out data, we have supplied a category filter. The category filter in this case is composed of the company name and lead main values that were passed in. The effect then is when we show it in the context of the lead details page, that it only shows you the category dealing with this lead from this company. Discussions is done completely analogously. As you can see, using that together allows us to present a whole palette of information to the user of this application. Not just the primary information relating to the record they're looking at, but the ancillary information from separate databases, or from different forms in the same database.